hello guys hello guys welcome to another video today we are going to start with uh us 100 on nasdaq you know this is our favorite thing on this channel so if you're new on the channel and you like this style of trading please uh, do subscribe and also you can just contact me on telegram if you are interested in taking the mentorship let's get started so with this one or well, the way I do things here, most of you already know. Like we have to start with the bigger time frames and then check how the structure is there. And then we can drill down to the smaller time frames where we'll be taking the trades, right? So let's just remove these drawings which are from the previous video that we made. So if you haven't watched that video, please make sure that you do watch it before you uh, come in with this one. Or you can just watch this and then go back and see what we had said about Nasdaq uh, last week. Alright, so this is our monthly chart, ne? And on the monthly chart, this is how the structure looks like. And it's very important for you to know where the thing is going on the longer run before you can worry about what is happening on M15 or H1, for instance. So on monthly, this is what we got. Né? And in terms of the, the zones or the sensitive areas that you have on your chart, this is the nearest area of support that the price has a potential to go to. Uh, whether it goes there or not, that's not the case. The case here is that the point is that uh, we have our support here or the area of demand there. And we also have the resistance or the area of supply there. Whatever you call it, support and resistance, right? And the trend is still very much bearish because we do have the bearish trend line. We haven't yet broken the structures. We are challenging the trend line. But according to how I teach, those who took my mentorship would know. We are not yet uh breaking the, the trend line but the bulls are very very uh, becoming aggressive on the bigger scale on monthly in this case and another thing that is po uh, worth pointing out is this to say that if you look at what the bears are doing there they've been pushing to the downside here they did uh what you call a bearish engulfing the red candlestick there and remember if you don't know what a bearish engulfing is basically it's when the price is sort of moving to the upside and then the bears become aggressive having a long candlestick that swallows the body of the previous candlestick or candlesticks that's what we are saying the bears have engulfed the previous candlesticks that's what you're calling it the bearish engulfing so after doing that you know when the bearish engulfing happens and then we are hoping that it will continue and this will be a chance for the bears to actually push until that zone that i had marked there when the price formed this engulfing but that didn't happen the following month we saw the bulls becoming aggressive around the same level that the bears are struggling to pass right and then the bulls still defended that area and then they pushed up equaling sort of equal uh, in terms of the size of the candlestick that they are forming more like they are reversing that bearish engulfing that the bears had formed the previous month and that's not good for the bears that's why now we are saying that the bears are under attack they are struggling to keep the price below the trend line and also uh, below their resistance so the bulls might end up playing outside their trend line and also uh, taking out the resistance but we don't know about that we'll just have to wait and see maybe in the next month or two in terms of, because remember this is a very big time frame so let's we know that we are there inside the resistance so there's still going to be uh, a force to push the price back to the downside now this is the weekly chart and on the weekly chart what we have here is that the structure also is changing now. It's changing because of what? We were very much bearish and we have our bearish trend line here, right? That is also struggling. Look at what the price is doing. It's sort of taking it out, but it's like it's trying, but it's, it's very difficult, right? And remember when we had that bearish engulfing here on monthly, we were hoping that the bears would go to the downside, but look what they did. They failed to give us a lower low. And when the price got there, it still formed this, which is what? bullish rejection candlesticks and the rejection candlesticks uh, that are bullish and they are formed at the the floor or around the support uh, they basically mean that the bulls are defending that zone they are rejecting the price they don't want the price to break that floor or break that support to the downside so they formed this and they defended their zone and the price took off and they formed another bullish uh, rejection candlestick and remember the price was uh, approaching the trend line but remember when you're seeing something like this and that is still suggesting that the bulls still have it in them they can still push some more and look what they did they pushed up like that so that's what we are having we are dealing with here but in terms of the structure it hasn't changed by much because we haven't yet went up uh, above this area of resistance we are still holding the res 
the resistance is still holding we are still inside it but it's worth noting that the resistance is not fresh meaning it's not the first time we are touching it because remember we formed it here we tested it there this is a second retest so because it's not fresh Remember, the more a zone is tested or the more a trend line is tested, the weaker it becomes. But we don't know when exactly it's going to be taken out. But we are just saying that because it's not fresh, it's not something that we can say it still has a lot of liquidity or, buy or sell orders there to push the price to the downside. It's possible for as long as the price does not move higher than it. So it's only a matter of time to say that should the price this coming week keep uh, maybe form another candlestick here that takes that we will say that the trend line broken resistance broken so the bulls are very aggressive then we can try and put a bullish trend line there and then say should we get a pull back we're more than welcome to buy now knowing very well that this one is out we'll be targeting that one day but it all depends on what we're going to get this month i mean this week so what you need to take from it is that currently the price is inside a resistance is challenging the bearish trend line so let's just see how the price is going to react today because already you can see that this sort of uh, tail here on the weekly which means when you go down to your smaller time frames you may be your h4 your h1 you might find something like that like a deeper one because this is on a month on a weekly but this on a smaller scale might be a very huge bearish move so now what we need to take here is that the bears are under attack the bulls are very aggressive they are trying to take out their key structure so the, this coming week is going to be very crucial for us to say whether the bears have have given up they are being defeated completely or they will maybe try and keep it you know take it all the way back i doubt they will do something like that but that's what i'm saying the candlestick that we're gonna get this week is going to be very like a deciding one the decider so let's see what we have on daily so this is how our daily chart looks like so we can remove this for now and this is our we know that we are inside what you call this the weekly area of resistance and this is what we have on the on the daily chart uh, on the daily time frame right and we can see that i don't think this was taken out so which means in terms of daily this will be let's just make sure that is drawn to scale this will be the nearest area of resistance if it is taken out you can see there like we moved slightly above it i don't know if you can see that so if you feel like it has been taken out that one then it means you need to keep your drawing here because we don't want the zone to be taken out once the zone is taken out it becomes invalid then we can't keep it on our chart we need to update and move to the next one that is still holding that is not yet broken so it means in this case we will have this as our okay i just want to make sure that it is drawn to scale so you need to make sure that you always have a zone that is not taken out so this is our daily resistance which is inside the weekly one and we saw that we are challenging that trend line but we don't know if this week the candlesticks we're gonna get are gonna push the price to the upside so for now our daily is definitely bullish right and it being bullish we're saying if it's bullish and let's see if we can put a bullish trend line so we do have a uh, we can put a bullish trend line we can maybe draw it somewhere there and say this is our bullish trend line and this is our support so let's just put them in so that we can see that should the price go down should you get sell trades you will be targeting this if you are trading on daily you will be targeting this to say that should the price give me a reason to go short i will be targeting this because you cannot say i'm selling and then i'll exit uh after three weeks or after two weeks how did you get to that uh, conclusion because you need to use the structure that you have on the chart to say that based on what i'm having here i think if i get a sell trade the price is going to struggle to pass there so now if we get a sell trade on this time frame we will be targeting uh the, this trend line or this resistance whichever one is hit first because remember we are still bullish so we are just basically trying to catch that pullback yes the pullback might end up being a complete trend reversal but we cannot predict such we cannot so we just need to say we will only trade until the next opposing structure is taken out and then when the price gets there i will just exit maybe leave one trade running with a tight surplus and then based on what happens there i will decide if it's safer for me to search for more trades to go to the downside maybe if the price gets there and take out that bullish trend line and also the, the the support and then 
you can decide to continue selling or if you get some rejections around that trend line that suggests that the bulls are still kicking in trying to prevent or to protect their trend then you can try and sell i mean take another buy take a buy everyone because the trend is still holding so that's all that we have on daily so let's uh, move down to the next time frame which is our h4 so i want to make sure that this daily uh, trend line that we drew here is as accurate as possible right so there is your daily trend line right and even on the h4 it's still you can put it the same way or if you want to use this as your swing because then you can mean it means that you can say the h4 one is there so this will be your h4 trend line and this will be your daily trend line or you can just use one it's totally up to you but now here's something that is very very interesting and even uh, the guys that are in the mentorship where uh, one of them did ask about this and we were discussing it uh, earlier on which is this zone here that we have right which is the one that is the the support that we have here so here is our support on h4 so now the question is is it safer for me to take a buy from this support yes or no i'll give you uh, what i think right you need to pay attention right because these things are very important to say that when you are trading you need to say based on what i have here i don't think it's safer for me to sell or to buy right but now let's talk about this support that we have here because the trend is still very much bullish but is it safer for you to take a buy that's a that's the question that i have now the question uh, that, to answer that i'll say you need to be careful and i'll give you the reasons why reason number one yes the trend is still bullish i get that but the zone is not fresh because I think on Friday, the price did come and test the zone and then it did go up. This is where you're supposed to catch it and it went up there. And what did it do after touching that, touching the zone? It went up, but here's another sign of weakness in, the, in terms of the ball strength. It's what we failed to create a new high. Basically, we bounced from here, but we failed to break the previous high. We, if, uh, if, if, if you want to maintain your bullish trend, we need to keep on doing this. So the moment the price does this, yes, that's a high. And then we do this. You are weak. You, the person that was pushing up, if they fail to break that, they are weak. So when I think of giving them a second chance there, I need to think twice. I need to be very careful. I need to make sure that I need to have a proper confirmation before I can do that. Because of what? Already... They had their first chance, which is uh, the one that was, uh, you could take that one. But now it's a second chance and the odds are slightly less because we failed to keep that characteristic of an uptrend, which is what continuing to uh, to print those new highs. So for that, it is something that I would say you need to be careful because the price can just say, because the bears rejected the price, causing it to go back again and keeping in mind that we are there inside that weekly area of resistance. And also there we are sort of falling short of that, you know, far short of that uh, daily resistance, but we are there reacting. So I want to there's some force to the downside. So you need to be careful because the price can take out, can take it out and we can end up with something like this towards the next one right which is this one here and this will be inside the bigger daily one remember this is a daily one so it will be there alongside the daily one and also the daily trend line which is the one that's gonna be slightly stronger and again where before the market closed on friday if you just check uh, closely here you will see that we were moving up right but what we had there is the same thing that i was explaining on on monthly which is what engulfing pattern so in this case remember the price is inside those areas of resistance and then which means there is a lot of sellers there so now you see the sellers they pushed down with that strong red candlestick then causing sort of an engulfing sort of uh, same in terms of the body it's the same or slightly bigger than the previous one so that's where the bears started to show that they are coming in my bond. so yes sometimes you see the price is moving up yes you are holding a buy trade but remember nothing is gonna last forever you need to be able to identify those sensitive areas on the chart to say that, yes, I know I'm holding a buy trade, but it does not mean the price will continue like this until Jesus comes back. No, when the price gets to those sensitive areas, the amount of money that you made, it's more than enough. You just need to be grateful for that, 
take it out and then your account is growing and then you look for more opportunities because if you're trying to be greedy the market you will see you are holding your buy trades all of a sudden there's this candlestick you don't even know where it's coming from this is going to take a lot of money from you from your profit but if you had said now because the price has hit those strong areas of resistance i have made enough i need to go out let me celebrate and then watch how the price behaves there and then based on that i can decide whether i want to go in again or i want to trade in the opposite direction that's how you should do it and now another sign that shows that the bears are actually those uh, the bears at that area are actually kicking in is the fact that they did this which is what bearish uh, rejection candlestick this can also result in what this it can also mean that that momentum this week can can do something like this so you need to be careful i'm not saying when the market opens you're just gonna go there and, and sell no i'm just saying based on what we have here there's actually a chance for us to go to the downside but again this for now will remain uh, an obstacle for that so it can still hold but it doesn't have a lot of odds because this it's not fresh there's a lot of factors pushing to the downside even from the bigger time frames so because of that it might end up giving in and then the best might end up pushing lower than that so you need to monitor closely how the, the candlesticks when the market is opening or throughout this monday this coming monday you need to be careful or just monitor there and see if you can get trades so let's uh, do h1 and see what we got there so you see this is what i teach i'm giving you uh both sides of the story to say that this is what is most likely to happen but should it not happen change your things and then trade in this direction that's how i do it right so this is our let's maybe remove this stuff because i don't like having a lot of uh, things on my chart so that it needs to be clear right so we, we can see that when you're moving to the upside uh this here this you can take it as a swing right if it's a swing then it means you could put maybe your trend line whether you want to start it there but if that's a swing then it means at some point you had that as your as your what do you call this as your bullish trend line on h1 and now here's another thing this was what your nearest area of support and it looked very strong but look when the price came back it didn't even hesitate to take it out that's what i'm saying you need to look at the zone the trend and also where are we the location because if we are inside those bigger time frames uh, areas of resistance and they're pushing down and you are trying to push up with your h1 hey my guy you need to be careful with that so that's why i don't uh, that one of the things that we, we i teach in terms of how you assess your zones whether they score high or or, or or lower is for us to check where we are in this case this thing didn't score a bit yes it looked nice but because now it's the bigger time frames pushing down you are trying to push up you the chances of you winning they are very slim right and look what the price did when the price moved to the downside it actually took out this and all of that was started by what by this guy here which is what the one that pushed to the downside breaking all of that so it means this is a a very strong area of what of resistance if i can just i'm trying to mark it if i can mark it like that you see and now the price went back to that resistance look what it did if you were there but it's just that i don't like trading on on fridays and you can see we tested that and then we moved to the downside yes even if you had caught that the fact that the price after breaking that trend line it failed it just turned here all of a sudden you need to ask yourself why did it turn here what if when it comes back it turns there again so that's why if you're taking that you need to make sure that this is your first stop to say that i don't know what caused the price to turn there so because of that i need to make sure that i go out as my first take profit and if you decide to leave the thing running one trade running you need to make sure that your stop losses are somewhere around there to say that should it break like we said it is a chance then you still have a trade because but again that zone that we marked on h4 it can still even though it's not fresh it can still cause the price to go up because you can see that even the candlestick that we're having there is saying that the bulls and the bears they are locked there you can see it's not favoring anyone so it means the bulls can still win and cause it to go up or the bears can take it out and continue to go to the downside yeah but that's what i'm saying on monday when the market opens throughout the day make sure that you monitor the price around that price action maybe you'll be able to get a trade with confirmation to go up to at least the same zone that we marked right or if the price breaks that you'll be able to take it all the way to the downside so it will all depend on how the price reacts around that level it's a very uh, critical level so it all depends on what the price is going to give you there 
then with confirmation you can take it up if it breaks the level and maybe does this you can continue like that so i think i'll end it here let's uh, maybe do m15 and see what we got there but you know i don't like going to the smallest time frames but let's just do it uh this is our m15 right and on the m15 everything changed remember we were going up it changed went to the downside went back to that area of resistance and then it continued to the downside with the downtrend at some point you could put maybe your bearish trend line here and it got broken and even that area of resistance is taken out that's if you're using the structure on m15 right and now because you know that this is the guy this is the support on m15 that actually pushed the price up and broke that trend line and it broke the area of resistance and now the price is playing around with it so if you are someone that's trading on m15 maybe this will be giving you a chance whatever that you use as your confirmation you can take it and hope that the price will maybe go until there but look at how the price was moving here this is going to be an obstacle when the price is going up because it can still just play around there and even take this thing out but this is a very uh, important level for those that are trading on m15 this is a very important support because of what it did when it pushed up breaking the trend line and breaking the area of resistance so it can still push up yeah bon? so that's all that i wanted to share with you guys i hope you are learning something from my videos and if you want to learn this uh, the concepts that you're seeing in these videos you want to learn them from scratch and full details so that you understand them fully you're more than welcome to text me and then we will you know get you into the program where i will teach you all these concepts from scratch but otherwise that's all you can expect from uh, us 100 on nasdaq so make sure that you take advantage of that all right guys uh, if you have watched until this point and you haven't liked the video or subscribed please hit that like uh, like button and also the subscribe button then i'll see you guys in the next video thank you